So a while ago I posted a video showing you how to turn off the RGB on your Asus Strix motherboard after the PC shut down. Sounds a lot easier than it should be, but people seem to struggle. So today I'm going to show you how to shut off the RGB altogether. So as I say at the start there, I did do a video um, about a year ago or something like that. Uh, a lot of people seem to have this problem with the, the PC basically shutting down and the RGB would stay on in a motherboard, lighting up their room like a like a fairground, like as if you were in the middle of a disco or something like that. Um, but since then, uh, that video has been pretty popular. I've actually had a few people raising other questions. Um, so I thought I'd do this video showing you how to turn it off in two different ways. Um, through the BIOS or through Armoury Crate and uh, I actually had a question from a viewer as well which is quite a, a, a strange one um, well not strange, I suppose you can understand where it's coming from you may be sitting in the middle of playing your game uh, and you keep getting distracted by the, the nice flashy lights in the corner from your, your RGB and your, your AC Strix motherboard and it just keeps catching your attention and you keep looking away and before you know it you're dead and the game is over so again I'll show you another way where you can actually just turn it off while you're playing and then put it back on. So let's jump to it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your BIOS by pressing the delete key as your system's starting up. Then we go to advanced, scroll down here to onboard devices configuration, then scroll down again till we see LED lighting. And then the very top pull down bar we see when system is in working state, currently all on. We want to change that to aura off. Then it's a case of pressing F10 to save that and reboot the machine. And if I click OK here, you should see instantly that the RGB goes off at the Asus logo. And what I'll do is I'll reboot and I'll show you that it's still off. So that's a simple one. Easy to do. Next one is to actually do this through the Armoury Crate software itself. So if you just start up the Armoury Crate software, just expand this. Then over to the left hand side here, you scroll down, you see the Aura Sync button. And then here we have an Aura Effects button. Currently it's set at rainbow. It's just a case of clicking here for dark mode and then that keeps it turned off. And you shall see it turning off by just clicking that button. Another easy thing to do. And then if you want it back on again, it's just a case of getting back into Aura Sync. Or I should say clicking the button to choose your effect and it comes back on. For me, I like to keep it a static purple colour. Just click static. Got it chosen as purple over the right hand side. And it just comes in as a static purple. Easy as that. Just a couple of simple steps and you can turn off the RGB altogether. Right, just remember if you are in the camp where you do like to have the RGB on most of the time but you want to turn it off when you're playing games or whatever or you've, you maybe you decided to watch a movie from your PC and you want um, things to be nice and dark. If you do turn it to dark mode in Armoury Crate, it will change it in the BIOS, which means the next time you reboot your PC, the lights will stay off permanently. So just keep that in mind. Turn it off and then when you're done, whatever you're doing, gaming, filming, uh, watching movies, whatever, turn it back on and you'll have all your RGB bling back. Now, just to try and suss out how to actually turn off the horrible rainbow effect, if you do have Aurora on, when the PC fires up, that I can't get my head around, but leave it with me. <laughs> right guys, that's another one over, see you again soon.